I want to know what's keeping nomads here. The family I'm staying with move four times a year with the seasons. At two and a half thousand meters above sea level, this is their spring camp. San Beno. San Beno. I'm Kate. <laughs> Kate, hello. Kate. San Beno. Otno. 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 And? It's Chimit. 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 Thank you for inviting me to stay with your family. I want to thank you for having me. Today. Chimid is 78 and the head of a large family. She has 10 children. Her youngest daughter, Ordner, lives with her. And um, can I um, have a look around? Will you show me around? That okay. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Oh Ordner is married to Serigo, and Chimid's youngest son, Batsok, is staying with them to help with the busy Kashmir wool harvest. <laughs> the terrible noise. Oh, look at these. The family own an impressive 200 goats, 150 sheep, and over 100 yaks and horses. So these Kashmir goat? Ah, not the garn. Attendus. Manachatan, tata, shitelo. Then to shoot to chungro. That's a shoot. He's hungry. Shoot <laughs> too. You can just see uh, some lovely black and brown and white oh. dots on the hillside. Ah, Teddy's job. And that's all the adults coming in. Can so all these still. little ones are going to get a feed in a minute. Harper. So it will get very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> The animals are like the family's bank account, their meat and milk providing food and their wool and income. In Mongolia, they're key to nomadic success or failure. Are there many wolves in this area? Yeah. Oh dear. I'm not allowed any more goats at home. But I might have to make an exception. They all live in this communal tent known as a gear. It's their kitchen, living room, and bedroom. Tell. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, this is my wedding ring. This ring belong to my husband's grandmother and inside there is engraved the uh, the word 12th and uh, she was married on the 12th of September. My parents also got married on the 12th of September and me and my husband got married on the 12th of September. So three generations got married on the same day. So it's very special. Yeah. It's the most magical place. It's ten to six. First morning, waking up in the Gobi. There we are, morning, everyone. <laughs> I can't do this. It's not a sound, it's so quiet. 
haven't even washed my face for you. I'm so sorry. Meeting the family yesterday, which is always quite nerve-wracking. Because it's a big leap. You're kind of just stepping into their lives and hoping that they might take you in. And, and uh, that's a big ask. But it was just a really lovely, lovely start. Every morning begins with rounding up the animals. The relationship between man and beast is the bedrock of nomadism and goes back millennia. Bless you! <laughs> but Chimid and her family enjoy some of life's modern amenities too. And on what do you run off here? In Girdasan. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yama? Yama? Goat. Goat. <laughs> Pon? Sheep. Pon. Today, we're using horses to help keep an eye on the livestock and to protect them from predators. Foxes, wolves, and snow leopards that roam these bleak mountains. Mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Mountain. <laughs> Oi. Oi. So, Yama is goat, and I goat. can teach you in the English. So, what is Yama? Yama. Goat. Uh, goat, you see? Yeah, so we've been teaching each other. And on. Sheep. Sheep. We're getting good. <laughs> and Mur. Horse. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we've had, I've had a little language lesson. <laughs> uh, practically local. <laughs> and your children, Ordna, will they be nomads? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be I suppose what I'm, I'm gradually unpicking about this way of life is, you know, Ordna went to school, but she's chosen to live this life. You know, no one's stopping anybody progressing, but I think they are aware that their knowledge is meaningful. Um, that it does allow them to survive and it allows them to live a life that they choose. They want to live this life. Um, they have an option to be somewhere else and yet they want to be here. 